five at six. Never heard anything like this before with the hail. I seriously thought it was rocks or somebody was trying to break out all of my windows. <laughs> so it was very, very scary. Shovels back to work. Snow plows too. Parts of Northwest Omaha digging out from a surprising spring storm. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Piles of hail can still be seen in parts of Omaha. Strong storms blowing through the metro overnight. Jessica Gill joins us live from perhaps the hardest hit area where earlier today it looked more like it was the middle of winter out there, Jessica. That's right, live here near 108th and Brown where, check it out, as you mentioned, piles of what looks like snow covered in leaves and dirt, mind you, uh, made for a very busy morning for people trying to clear it all away today. And as if waking up to this mess wasn't bad enough, I also caught up with a lot of tired eyes. Many saying, well, they missed out on a lot of sleep last night. It was so loud. I mean, it scared the death out of me. It it, I've never heard anything like this before. Mary Wood lives in Fox Point Apartments right off 105th and Fort. Needless to say, she missed out on a lot of sleep last night. It just sounded like somebody was throwing a million rocks at the windows, every single window, and the windows was rattling. And soon enough, the ground was painted white. This is weird. I've never seen this in May. Several crews were called out to help clean up the mess, which wasn't exactly a walk in the park. This push is way harder than snow. Yeah, I mean, it's like, man, I thought winter was over. <laughs> Hard on residents, too. Just ask this group how their backs feel after clearing away three foot mounds of hail from a driveway. Terrible. <laughs> I got to take a break every now and then because, I mean, it is so we. It's unbelievable. I said it like that. It's unbelievable. But a team effort, nonetheless, just about everywhere that hail collected. Now, hail wasn't the only story overnight. So were the winds. Check out what 40 mile an hour wind gusts actually did to a trampoline near 114th and military. There were reports of it being picked up and thrown onto nearby power lines. Uh, and as you can see, that ended up bending the trampoline pretty good. So obviously a very wild night right here in the metro, guys. Yeah, it was great to see the way everybody pitched in mm -hmm. to clear all the hail anyway. Team effort. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jessica.